The Bible says the Most High is sovereign over the kingdom of men. I chose you out of the world, therefore the world will hate you. Sanctification is the gradual process by which a believing Christian is made holy through the Holy Spirit. The supernatural is what makes Christianity much more than a mere religion. For a sanctified life is indispensable for a Christian if he or she wants to be in good relationship with God and grow in grace. Religion plus education, yes, that is education in totality. For your child to have a taste of modern world, he or she must grab knowledge from a great citadel of learning. Oshitelu Memorial Nursery and Primary School, Ogere Remo, the Church of the Lord, Aladura College, Ogere Remo, Ogun State, Aladura Comprehensive High School, and Tony Village, Lagos, Reverend Emmanuel Oyedele Ashamu, Nursery and Primary School, and Tony Village, Lagos, Oshitelu Memorial Nursery and Primary School, Ayede Ekiti, and Aladura Theological Institute, Ogere Remo, Ogun State, and Antony Village, Lagos, Nigeria. We have conducive learning environment, qualified and experienced teachers, computer education, career counseling, science laboratory, and lots more. Admission is in progress at Oshitelu Memorial Nursery and Primary School, the Church of the Lord, Aladra College, Ogere Remo, Aladra Comprehensive High School, Antony Village, Reverend Emmanuel Oyedele Ashamu, Nursery and Primary School, Antony Village, Oshitelu Memorial Nursery and Primary School, Ayede Ekiti, Aladra Theological Institute, Ogere Remo, Ogun State, and Antony Village, Lagos. For details, contact the Church of the Lord, Aladra Worldwide, Ogere Spiritual and International Headquarter, 10 to 12 Primate Oshitelu Street, Ogere Remo, Ogun State, Nigeria. P.O. Box 71 Shagamu, Ogun State, Nigeria. You can also call these phone numbers for any information. Aladura Group of Schools cater for the yearnings of modern education. Viewers from all over the world, wherever you are watching us, wherever you are watching this program, you are welcome to the Voice of Victory, the media outreach of the Church of the Lord worldwide. Let us pray. Father Almighty, we thank you for this opportunity. As your people are listening to your word, Father, grant unto them listening ears and discerning hearts. And let your word be fruitful in their heart. So that at the end of age, in this sinful world, they shall be told, come into the kingdom of your father. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in the sight, my Lord and my Redeemer, now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Amen in Jesus' name. Children of God, blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake. These are the people who are willing to suffer for Christ's sake. This attitude clashes with the worldly value of weak commitments. According to Colossians chapter 1, verses 12 to 14, 
gege bi ati ko ninu we kolose ori ikini ese ikejila there are five benefits god gives to all believers through Christ Jesus our savior awon anfani marun wa ti christi fi fun awon onigbagbo nipa se christi jesus number 1 he made us qualified to share in his inheritance o mu wa je okan lara awon ajogun ijoba re number 2 he rescues us from satanic kingdom o gba wa kuro ninu ijoba satanic from satanic dominion of darkness nipa iwa ipa ati agbara satanic oluwa gba wa kuro ninu re and he made us his children o si so wa di omo re number 3 iketa he brought us into his eternal kingdom o mu wa wonu ile aye raye ti re his kingdom of light ijoba aye raye ti re from darkness to everlasting light lati nu oku Number four, he redeemed us, that is, he shed his blood for us, thus paying for our freedom from sin and judgment. Because it, it is written, after death comes judgment. It is written that a man should die but once and thereafter be judged. My prayer for you is that at the end of your sojourn in this sinful world, you shall be count worthy to be in his kingdom in Jesus' name. Last but not the least, number five. He forgave all our sins. The Lord God promises those who are dedicated and fully committed unto him the inheritance of his kingdom in heaven. People of God, we have every cause to thank God for all that we have received from our Father Christ Jesus. And I pray that the Lord God will continually increase you in all ramifications of life. And make you steady unto his glorious end. And may the joy of the Lord be permanent in your lives and so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Conclusion. People of God, those who diligently try to obey God's commandments will be blessed. Those these, this is the promise of God for you and me. Their happy conditions is like healthy and fruitful trees with strong roots, and whatever they do, they will prosper. If you want to abide in the joy of the Lord, you must be ready to say and do what seems strange to the world. Actually, you should not conform to this world. You must be reformed in Christ Jesus. You must be willing to do the following five things. Number one, give when others take. Because it is more blessed to give than to receive. Number two, number two, love when others hate. Number three, help when others abuse. Number four, give up your own rights in order to serve others. 
iwo ma fi eto e sile lati ri wipe tabi ni di wipe o fe ki elomira ko ni Sometimes we don't understand this message. Let me give you one example. One man with his wife were driving along the road. And they got a junction where they have the right of way. And from the another road, Another driver was coming with full speed. They saw the driver, but they said, Oh, after all, we have the right of way. And they continued driving. So, why should I give up? After all, it's my own right to, to continue driving. They had an accident. The man who was driving died on the spot. After the accident, you know, it's in Europe. There is no argument. We have insurance and everything. The insurance, uh, the, the, those who committed the atrocity, they said, no, we are at fault. We should have waited. So we are the cause of his death. So the insurance has to pay the wife. But her husband is dead. Nebati, a forest upon you sell it. The accident today, and it's yours of where I want you, Leona. Oku, Oku, Yawoneka, Subanity, Oxe, Okufa, a Gambayi, Nebati, one day, dear John, one woe, Sarah, only no to our one, I want far, one was a repay, go say ye, Kafu Yawo, Subo, or Kotiku. Even at the end of the day, He's not going to pay anything. It's, it's his insurance that we pay the family of the wife. Because we pay So when God says, give up your own rights in order to serve others, actually you are serving yourself. Don't always say, oh, it is my right. I will, you know, I don't mind the consequences. Because this life is not replaceable. It has no other part that you can use to replace it. Number five, last but not the least. Remain faithful in God. Remain hopeful in God. And promote peace when others are unfaithful. Promote peace when things are in chaos. Promote peace when others are even pursuing chaos. And God will bless you for it. Because blessed are the peacemakers. For they shall be called the children of God. So when you do these things, beloved in Christ, you will surely receive the result as planned, as determined by God. Each beatitude tells us how to receive the joy of the Lord. Which is much more than circumstantial happiness. As mentioned, as mentioned earlier, happiness is just a temporary thing, a temporary thing that circumstances, our present circumstances brings. 
When you receive birthday present, you are happy. But the joy of the Lord is everlasting, irrespective of your circumstances. Which implies the fortunate and enviable state of those who are in God. Christ Jesus. Blessed, according to the scriptures, means the experience of hope and joy, which is independent of outward circumstances. Let me ask you a few questions. Are your attitudes a carbon copy of those or of the word selfishness, pride, jealousy, cheating, and greed? Or are your attitudes, do your attitudes, do they reflect the humility, love, self-control, self-sacrifice, peace, patience, and kindness of Christ Jesus? Religion plus education, yes, that is education in totality. For your child to have a taste of modern world, he or she must grab knowledge from a great citadel of learning. Oshitelu Memorial Nursery and Primary School, Ogere Remo, the Church of the Lord, Aladura College, Ogere Remo, Ogun State, Aladura Comprehensive High School, and Tony Village, Lagos, Reverend Emmanuel Oyedelia Shamu, Nursery and Primary School, and Tony Village, Lagos, Oshitelu Memorial Nursery and Primary School, Ayede Ekiti, and Aladura Theological Institute, Ogere Remo, Ogun State, and Tony Village, Lagos, Nigeria. We have conducive learning environment, qualified and experienced teachers, computer education, career counseling, science laboratory, and lots more. Admission is in progress at Oshitelu Memorial Nursery and Primary School, the Church of the Lord, Aladra College, Ogere Remo, Aladra Comprehensive High School, and Tony Village, Reverend Emmanuel Oyedele Ashamu, Nursery and Primary School, and Tony Village, Oshitelu Memorial Nursery and Primary School, Ayede Ekiti, Aladra Theological Institute, Ogere Remo, Ogun State, and Entoli Village, Lagos. For details, contact the Church of the Lord, Aladra Worldwide, Ogere Spiritual and International Headquarter, 10 to 12 Primate Oshitelu Street, Ogere Remo, Ogun State, Nigeria, P.O. Box 71, Shagamu, Ogun State, Nigeria. You can also call these phone numbers for any information. <laughs> Aladura Group of Schools cater for the yearnings of modern education. People of God, if you want the joy of the Lord, just follow Christ Jesus, no matter what. Your joy does not depend on what you have, but on what you have. Because life circumstances change, therefore happiness may not remain forever. But if we keep walking with Christ Jesus, God Himself will sustain our inner joy. Therefore, be steadfast, be immovable, knowing that your labor in the Lord will never be in vain. In Jesus' name. In order to survive the storms of this life, let us be anchored to the rock of ages and meditate in the word of God 
day and night and do what it says and not remain only the hearers of the word but be the doers of the word if we digest God's word we will discover that it will make us stronger in our faith it will strengthen our wisdom in God and sweetens our lives in Christ Jesus. So we need to digest the word of God regularly. And we need to put it into practice. The word of God must lead us unto obedience. In order to manifest that everlasting joy of the Lord in our hearts. Children of God, as we contemplate the daily presence before God, we will find contentment in Christ Jesus. As we understand the future God has for us, we will continually experience the joy of the Lord. Therefore, I plead with you. Do not base your life on circumstances. But base your life on Christ Jesus. The author and the finisher of your faith. And I pray for you. Instead of shame, you will receive a double portion of joy and honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Instead of disgrace, you will receive the grace of the Lord and the inheritance in Christ Jesus in Jesus' mighty name. And everlasting joy shall be your portion, shall be the portion of your family, shall be the first portion of all your loved ones, and it shall continually be well with you. With the Lord, King of glory, the King of honor, receive your praises in Jesus name Amen. I thank God Almighty for enlarging your coast you will surely rejoice in the Lord for as in the day of the Midian's defeat the Lord will defeat all your enemies before your face in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I thank God for destroying the weapons of all your oppressors. By the grace of God, your oppressors will not rejoice over you in the mighty name of Jesus. The promise of God shall be sufficient for you. The grace and the covenant of God shall be sufficient for you. You will continue to delight in the salvation of Christ Jesus. And you will continually shout for joy and worship God in truth and in spirit. You will worship him in all gladness. And the Lord himself will satisfy all your wants and all your needs in, in his glory. And may he bestow favor upon you. Anywhere you go, 
anywhere you find yourself, you will continue to find the favor of God and the favor of man. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with your profession. It shall be well with your family. It shall be well with your vocation. In all that you lay your hands on, shame shall prosper in Jesus' name. And you will have great testimony unto the Lord. And give a special thanks unto the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Viewers, we thank God for today again for being in the presence of the Lord. We shall see you next week, next Saturday, same channel, same time, same place. Remember to call the numbers we are seeing on your screen for intercessory prayers, for counseling, and for testimonies. May the Lord continually be with you and provide for all your needs and grant you all your heart desires. Remain blessed until next week. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Religion plus education. Yes, that is education in totality. For your child to have a taste of modern world, he or she must grab knowledge from a great citadel of learning. Oshitelu Memorial Nursery and Primary School, Ogere Remo. The Church of the Lord, Aladura College, Ogere Remo, Ogun State. Aladura Comprehensive High School, Antony Village, Lagos. Reverend Emmanuel Oyedele Ashamu, Nursery and Primary School, Antony Village, Lagos. Oshitelu Memorial Nursery and Primary School, Ayede Ekiti. And Aladura Theological Institute, Ogere Remo, Ogun State. And Antony Village, Lagos, Nigeria. We have conducive learning environment, qualified and experienced teachers, computer education, career counseling, science laboratory, and lots more. Admission is in progress at Oshitelu Memorial Nursery and Primary School, the Church of the Lord, Aladra College, Ogere Remo, Aladra Comprehensive High School, Antony Village, Reverend Emmanuel Oyedele Ashamu, Nursery and Primary School, Antony Village, Oshitelu Memorial Nursery and Primary School, Ayede Ekiti, Aladra Theological Institute, Ogere Remo, Ogun State, and Antony Village, Lagos. For details, contact the Church of the Lord, Aladra Worldwide, Ogere Spiritual and International Headquarter, 10 to 12 Primate Oshitelu Street, Ogere Remo, Ogun State, Nigeria, P.O. Box 71, Shagamu, Ogun State, Nigeria. You can also call these phone numbers for any information. <laughs> Aladura Group of Schools cater for the yearnings of modern education.